Okay, it's Paladin's turn to take on Major Domo Executus and Ragnaros. Schwagnaros! Yeah, getting ahead on boards, I think, going to be the toughest part of this. I think we're... I shouldn't jinx it, but I think we're relatively well suited to take on Rag's hero power. But, oh man, lots of 3-3s. Three Maybe I should include an extra 1 drop. But there's going to be a lot of 3-3s three on the board. Yeah, Scarlet Crusader is good at trading with them. So I'll kind of deal with them. Maybe Argus would be good. Consecration would be oh so sweet. This will do a two form. We're trying. He has not. He doesn't have to use cards. Kind of annoying. Can buff this to a two, so it trades with that. We might trade up into that. We're a bit low on health already. We do have sludge belches in here. Alright, it does do the trade. Cannot kill that, unfortunately, but we can get it lower. He might trade, I don't know. Not sure if that's right. Oh god. Oh god, big game hunter. Where are you, big game hunter? We do not have an answer to that. He's probably just going to go face and wipe us out. Do we Belcher to try save that? I mean, we can actually kill it by hitting in both. Sludge Belchering should, in theory, take both of those to kill. Then we boom? Or do we just take the seven damage? That'll take us down to nine. We die pretty easily, but I'm gonna be greedy. Try get a hit on board. Uh, he doesn't go face, that's relatively good for us. If we want to hit that. We're gonna die very easily. Do we just sneeze? Or, or... Belcher plus, that deals with three ones better. So I think we actually do this. Oh man, we already died at two hits from Rag's hero power whenever that comes out. That kind of sucks. Rag's gonna... I think the Fire Elemental's gonna need to charge into this anyway. Might as well get some more value out of it. Core Hound. Should we put in big game hunters? I think so. There's core hounds, what else? Oh, there's also core rages, which can get big. Consecration gives us a pretty nice set of trades, actually. Twenty-four is okay. Time to start playing more. Oh, we have no card draw in this deck. Should probably Divine Favor, because he ends up with a lot of cards. We should include a Divine Favor. For sure. Okay, what's our play here? A pretty good drop. Reporting for duty. See what legendary we get. If it's Rag, we're actually pretty fucked. Isera. Oh yes. Take that all day. 
Yeah, dream cards. There's a draw engine. Dream, not really what we want right now. Can we get him down? I guess these will never actually be worth 7-7 seven, seven, though in terms of whether to play a big game hunter. Oh, we can heal. Uh, 4, 6, 12, 13. We're nowhere near being able to um, actually burst him down. I shall bring you rest. Eight manners. Oh, uh, that might be bad against his hero power. That was a mistake. He might flame him. But we also want to rush him down. We have 10... 10, 12, 13 damage. We're nowhere close to being able to rush him down. Let's let him play a flame imp without forcing our hand. Can Nightmare on the uh, Nerubian Egg. Okay, that's an obvious trade for us. The battle. Four, six, twelve, thirteen, eighteen. Getting closer. We even bother killing that? I don't think so. We don't want to put this within, like, Lava Burst range. We already put it within, uh... The battle. Ragnaros range, which I think was a mistake. Oh my god, we're getting so many dream cards. Should I just be running this era? Surely on this era. Can he also kill it with something else? No, not yet. We'll get another dream card. 4, 6, 12, 13, 15, 16, and 4 is 20. I guess popping the Nerubian. Give us a bit more. I think we should just do that. Or maybe just put the 7, 6 down. 2 and 1. That's a pretty rag-proof board. Is he gonna finally kill his Sarah though? I mean, these are probably all Molten Giants. Yeah, I think it's time to start growing face. Um, I guess we put the 1-1 one, one into that. Oh. That's a draw. So, we have 7, 10, 16, 20, 24. That right, 24. 6 and 4 is 10 and 3, 13, 20, 24. Okay, so we want to do 21 damage exact and then 4. Not this guy, whoops. I don't think we bother dreaming. We want to rush him down as quick as possible. We got ourselves outside of double hit range. Oh man, Isero is such a good draw. Ooh, that's a lot of damage too. I don't think we can kill him in one swing though. Because he uses hero power. Okay, I like. How much do we have? 4, 8, 14, 21, 25, 29, 39. Still not 57. How do we kill this efficiently? Do we? He's gonna have to run into that anyway. But 9 damage to the face, we can't risk that, surely. If we go to face with everything, we have 8, 14, 21, 25, 29. That'll get him down to 28. Which means we're th definitely threatening lethal for next turn. We don't really care about spells, so I think we do this guy. So that if he hits something, maybe we should just dream it. We don't have to deal with it, right? We have another dream. I shall bring you rest. Do we use our weapon? I think so. Let's go all in. We have 4, 8, 14, 21. 25, 26, 
36 damage on board. No one to jinx it, but do your worst, drag. Yep, that just improved our board. And this is a frickin' thrashing. What? Oops, that was meant to be the dream. Do we still have lethal? 4, 8... God damn it. 14, 21, 25, 20... Okay, we still have lethal. Max overkill. I can't really count it up, but I think it must be putting it on the biggest hitting thing. Almost messed that up. Ragnaros goes down on the first attempt to our honor rattle deck. Let's take a look at it. So the deck is generally themed around two things. Divine Shield and um, Death Rattle that summons other minions. <clears throat> so we have Undertaker to take advantage of playing your Death Rattle creatures. We have Blood Mage Thelnos to power up your Consecrations, given he plays a lot of 3 health dudes. Executus does at least, before Rag. Haunted Creeper is great in the late game, ironically enough, because if it gets hit by Rag's hero power, it spawns 2 more 1-1s, which give even more targets to protect the stuff you don't want to get hit. Um, yeah. Uh, help, uh, at which point I also mentioned Paladin's hero power is pretty good uh, against... Ragnaros' hero power, because you get to add additional minions. Ruby and Egg, because if it get hit, gets hit, turns into a 4-4. Four -four. Um, Harvest Garum, because it spawns another minion. Scarlet Crusade has Divine Shield, trades for his hero power 2-for-1. <clears throat> True Silver Champion does the same. Consecration uh, is not that good by itself, though we did come across a good scenario for it as it happened, but usually you want to pair it with Thelnos. Uh, just gives you an option if you're getting flooded by his 3-3s three in the early game. That's the hardest part, is getting ahead of his 3-3s. Three uh, piloted Shredder doesn't trade that well for them, but in general, it's better in the second phase, where um, it's a durable body that summons something if it dies. Silvermoon Guardian trades with two of his hero powers. Fugan and Starlag uh, trade well. Well, Fugan trades well with his hero power, and uh, obviously they summon Thaddeus, which can help a lot in dealing damage quickly. Sludge Belchers trade well with his hero power and have Death Rattle and summon another creature if hit. Piloted Sky Golem the same. Sunwalker has Divine Shield and is a taunt to keep you alive. Dr. Boom summons two more guys. Again, good against Ragnaros' hero power. Snood's Old Shredder basically won us the game by giving us Isero when we were out of cards because that gave us a card draw engine. To be fair, we didn't actually need any of those cards till the very end, like we probably would have won without it, but it was very comforting to be getting extra cards when we were literally had none in our hand. Tyrion Forward Ring, really good. Um, Divine Shield as well, and the Ashbringer can help do extra damage. Uh, always be cautious of not running him below 20 unless you can kill him in that turn, Executus. Um, because you don't want him to flood the board with Molten Giants, we're not running an Equality. So we have to play around that. If you do not want to play around that, you definitely need an equality. Because actually you can get him below 20. Um, the cost is you get all your minions to one health, but you Paladin can deal with a board full of Molten Giants better than most by equality consecration. Um, but we choose to have more minions to survive the second phase of his hero power. The other thing this deck is weak on is uh, card draw. I think, honestly, there should be at least one Divine Favor, because he usually has a full hand because of not, getting a, not being able to play the Molten Giants, so you can refill your hands with tons of minions, your hand with tons of minions, with just one Divine Shield. What would I take out? Maybe a Harvest Golem? Maybe a Silver... May, yeah, maybe a Silver Moon Guardian. Harvest Golem does not trade that well with his hero power, though. It's only, it's like a one-for-one-ish. Maybe, maybe Harvest Golem. Uh, anyway, that's the deck. Worked on the first attempt for us uh, in pretty convincing fashion in the end. Hope you have luck with it too if you try it. See you soon.